Are you a pitcher that typically gets really sore and tired along the side or back of your shoulder after an outing? In this video, I want to go over why you need to focus on training your rotator cuff in a specific way and several exercises that you can use to start training it in this way. So how do I know this? My name is Jeff Lewis. I'm the owner and physical therapist of Lewis Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, and I have helped countless baseball players and pitchers get back to throwing pain-free and stronger so they can excel back on the field. So Again, the purpose of today's video is strengthening the rotator cuff. A lot of times I see, you know, really a lot more of the young guys, but really pitchers of all across the spectrum where they, not, they get really just tired and sore along the back of the shoulder and down on the side of the shoulder a little bit after their outings. And a lot of times it's because these guys are lacking what we call eccentric strength for your rotator cuff. So your rotator cuff has two main jobs. You think of your shoulder as a golf ball and a golf ball on a tee. The job of that rotator cuff, one of the jobs, is to keep that golf ball centered in that tee throughout the entire throwing motion so that it doesn't move too far forward and put too much stress on the front of the shoulder, or not too far up, and really in all those different directions. The other part of it is the rotator cuff acts as the brakes for the arm. So we think about the gas of the throwing movement, which is going to be like your lats, pecs, your more internal rotators. And then the brakes, which is, again, your rotator cuff. So the job of that rotator cuff, during that follow-through part of throwing, the job of that rotator cuff is to decelerate your arm and really to keep it centered in that joint versus it just getting pulled aggressively forward and over and really over-pulled, over-stretched. So that's typically the part that I want to focus on here. Again, there's some other things that go into training the deceleration pattern in terms of having a solid lead laid block, good front foot stability on the ground, you're not popped up one way or the other off the ground, being able to rotate into your hip and thoracic spine rotation. But at the very least, you need a baseline level of eccentric strength in that rotator cuff. So first thing we're going to do, we're just going to grab a band here. And we're going to start with the band really at our side here. If you have a squat rack, great. If you can attach to a door, a cage, or anything like that, just so you can attach into. So first thing we're going to do is really just work in the eccentric part. We call it eccentric horizontal abduction. So what we're going to do for our working our right arm for right-hand dominant pitchers, you're going to start with the band at your side here. You're going to use your left hand, and I want you to use a heavy band with these. It should be a heavy enough band where you can't go out to the side on your own like that, all right? So they want it to be a heavy enough band where you have to use your non-throwing arm to pull the band out to the side here, all right? Now from here, it's a slow one, two, three, four. Five. Again, that band should almost, you should feel that band pulling you in the entire way, but you're trying to fight it nice and easy. You don't want to be just like super hitchy like this. It should be a smooth and controlled lowering back in. All right. So again, taking that non-throwing hand, pulling the band out, slowly coming across like so. All right. So that's one of our first movements there. The second movement we're going to do is in that 90-90 external rotation position more than anything. So again, we know that we need to follow through here, but we also need to train that rotator cuff to control the opposite. So when we're accelerating out of layback, we are eccentrically stressing that rotator cuff. So we need enough strength there to support and stabilize that shoulder. So now we're going to have our band out to the side here, arms up at 90-90 here. You are going to take your non-throwing hand. Again, this should be a heavy enough band. You can't go up like this yourself. I'm using a lighter band for this purpose of this video, but it should be heavy enough that you can't just go up like this on your own, all right? So you're taking your other hand, you're putting the band up there, and then it's a slow three, four, five, down. Again, coming up here, slow three, four, five. So those are two of my go-to exercises, just with a band right there, that I use to train the rotator cuff in an eccentric manner. Again, it is crucial that we have that eccentric strength in that rotator cuff to support our arm, and really just from an overall arm health standpoint more than anything, not only from an injury risk standpoint, but so that you don't get as tired, you don't get as fatigued as you go through your outing, and that you could that way you could pitch longer from uh, from that point forward. So if you're a pitcher, if you're dealing with some shoulder pain, you have questions about arm strength and proper ways to train proper ways to train your arm strength, go ahead and leave a comment below. You can go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel. We put out content pretty much exclusively for baseball players in the rehab and performance setting, or you could check out some of our free ebooks below.